Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm trying to get this light out of the <laughs> out of the camera. Hope you're having a good day. Let's see, let me make sure everything is good. You guys, it's raining here. You know how I love the rain. I don't know if you can see. We did not get any rain from the hurricane. Totally missed us. And so we were all kind of sad because you know, we really need the rain here. But luckily we've had rain on and off all week, so that's good. All right, good, I can see you guys. Hello, hello, thanks for sharing, I appreciate that. All right, well, I've been busy. Can you guys see back here? Both of my tables are totally full. This table right here is uh, Club Create. It's ready, it'll ship out Monday. Over here, this is BOGO Sales stuff, which I'm gonna talk to you about in a minute, and then In Color Club. You're up next, that's what I'll be working on on Monday and Tuesday. Lots of things going on. I'm trying to keep it all super organized because there's a lot of stuff. I, I don't like that feeling, you know, with all the it's just piles of stuff around. And it motivates me, actually, to work faster because I just want to get it out. <laughs> all right. Well, welcome to Facebook Friday. We are, you know, I've gone completely off my schedule. Um, at the beginning of a catalog, I write down all the Facebook Friday dates and I start plugging in things that I wanna do for Facebook Friday. And then Stampin' Up! released all this amazing stuff online at the beginning of July, and I was like, okay, hold on, we gotta, we gotta use some of this stuff too. Online exclusives are exclusively online. It doesn't mean anything other than that. You don't have to spend so much or join or anything like that. It just means that you won't find it in a catalog. Um, they're just exclusively online. So anyway, a bunch of those. Stampin' Up! tells us that they are, um, some of them are while supplies last, just they won't get more in stock, and some of them will be restocked, and we don't know. So it's kind of like, if you like something in those online exclusives, you better get it when you, when you see it. Um, so we're using Frosted Forest, and you might think, oh, okay, you know, a tree stamp set. The font on the... Um, the um, sentiments is great, but this set comes with, well, the bundle is a bunch of masks, tree building masks, okay? I love masking and I haven't done it in a while. So I started playing with this. I was just gonna make one card for my blog, like a sample for you guys to see it. And then I was like, oh my God, this is really cool. And I kept playing and playing and playing. So I have several cards, uh, several, yeah, cards today. Well, we're doing a 3D also. And bonus cards, plus my friend Chris, who always sends me cards in the mail. I literally opened it yesterday, Chris, and it was this set. So I'll show you her card too. Um, but it comes with the dies too. So stamp set, dies, and masks. So it's a big bundle, and it's a fun bundle. Okay, I'm going to turn you around because I want to show you a couple of things. Um, before we get started, okay, hello everybody, those of you that need rain, I know. Uh-oh, hold on, hold on. Those of you that need rain, I know. It's so frustrating to see rain around you, but never, like it doesn't come to you. It is incredibly frustrating. Um, luckily, we are getting out of a drought, so says the weatherman. You know, they have these drought maps and they show us that okay look the drought is less here however our lake is still empty it's going to take like a like a hurricane unfortunately to fill up our lake so anyway um patricia so the share button sometimes you have to x out like clear close it and then you'll see it like sometimes if you expand the video it'll go away or if you just like completely close your tab, open it back up, I, I know, she's saying her share button is missing. It's weird, I know, Facebook is weird. Okay, let's talk about Club Create for August. So subscription period for August, is, August is, <laughs> that's not a word, August Club Create um, is open. So if you are gonna be a new subscriber anytime between now and August 7th, your first kit will be the August Club Create Kit. And we are starting Christmas cards. Um, like I mentioned, this was not on my radar until I saw Stampin' Up! sent us a, the pre-order stuff the demonstrators could order, and I fell in love with this suite. Also, I mentioned to you, this paper, at first glance, I was like, eh, 
But then I saw the samples when we were in Mexico on the incentive trip and I fell madly in love with it. So if you are a Christmas card lover, you will love this kit. There's vellum, some really cool vellum. You're gonna get some vellum. You're gonna get some of the pattern paper. The, the bundle, I, there's two bundles in this uh, suite. So Club Create members, instead of trying to have you order both bundles, which you totally can, and I'm gonna give you that opportunity. I was trying to minimize the required things that you would need. So for Club Create August, you are only gonna need the Greetings of the Season stamp set. Look at all those awesome Christmas greetings. And these dies, which now is, um, drawing, I'm drawing a blank on the dies. Somebody tell me. Um, the st oh, you know what? I have it right here because I'm giving it away today. Uh, gold, golden greenery. Okay, so these two don't come in a bundle. This actually comes with a really cool set of dies um, that are like tags. Well, where are they? I am using a couple of them, but I'm going to cut those for you. Um, you're going to use these dies during Club Create to cut out things from the paper. The paper, this is another one of those really cool designs from Stampin' Up! where the dies will cut out the stamps from the stamp set, but it will also cut out the designs in the paper. So I designed the cards without the stamp set. We're gonna strictly use the paper and the the greetings, okay? So Club Create members, just FYI, if you're gonna, if you're gonna, if you wanna order ahead of time or whatever, these are the two things that you'll need. I'm gonna, Club Create, Members, I always give you an opportunity to add on to your kit at, uh, I and I pay the shipping and the tax on that. So if you're going to order, wait and order it when I send out the add-on email because you save a little bit of money that way. But anyway, this is August Club Create. Club Create kits come this way um, in a little cool little package. And this month is our uh, four-year anniversary. So you guys in Club Create have a special gift, <laughs> Club Create gift in your Club Create kits when they come next week, okay? So I think you'll like them. I'm not gonna tell you what they are. I'll show you guys in a couple of weeks if you're not in Club Create, so you'll know what they are. You'll get to see them. Um, but you've got a little special extra added gift from me this month, and you're getting a full 12 by 12 pack of paper in your Club Create kit in July, okay? So if you're interested in joining Club Create, like I said, your first month will be um, August Christmas cards. There is, I will add a link up here um, at the top of this video when I'm done today with a link. Um, you can also go to my blog, pinkfuckroo.com, and there is a tab at the top that says Club Create, and you can uh, subscribe that way. And you can stay for one month, six months. Some people have been here for all four years, and every six months I reward you with a $25 product credit that you get to choose something or some things from the catalog and I throw them in your Club Create kit that month. So, all right, that's Club Create. Also, video and PDF, they get that too. But if you don't wanna subscribe, did you guys hear the thunder? Ooh, I love it. Um, if you don't wanna to subscribe to the actual kit but you want the tutorials, that's available in my PDF store right now. PDF is $15. It's an immediate download. The website automatically emails it to you. And the link for the video is on the first page. So I type all the directions, there's measurement supply list, but I also make them on a video for you. And that's included in that PDF as well. Whew, a lot of information. Okay, bonus days, you guys, it's bonus days. I keep forgetting. And then um, when I put in an order, a little pop-up thing will say, congratulations, you've earned a bonus day coupon. And then I'm like, okay, wait, I have to make sure that I'm not like, you know, $10 away from the next bonus day coupon. Are you guys like that? It's called girl math. That's what it is. We spend more to save more. <laughs> and you know what? It's totally fine. I did that at Target yesterday. Uh, bonus, no, what is it? Circle, Target Circle Week. And I had a thing that if you spent $150, you would get a $15 um, like, like uh, you know, credit basically, which is exactly what this is. And I was at $141. I was like, hold on. I went and grabbed some sunscreen. I'm like, add this in because I want my $15 coupon from Target. It's called girl math. I tell my husband, he, he doesn't understand that. But anyways, this is the same exact thing. Bonus days, we'll just call them stamping up days, right? $5 coupon for every $50 you spend. Um, you'll, you'll get to spend them in August. Um, so if you spent $150 like I did yesterday, then you'll get three $5 coupons and you can use all three of them at the same time in August. 
Okay, so just to let you know that. BOGO sale is coming up. You guys, I'm really close to hitting my $2 million in sales, like around, I'm about $10,000 away. So my goal is to do it by the end of this month. And so I'm gonna do my BOGO sale. If you guys can help me, you can shop my BOGO sale online. I will have it posted here in this Facebook group on July 23rd. It'll be up for three days, the 23rd, the 24th, and the 25th. And you'll get to see all, we have photographed every single retired product that I have. You'll get to look at all the pictures, pick out the things you want for free. And then you'll, you'll put in an order of that amount to get new stuff and I mail you the retired stuff for free. Okay. It's always hard to explain this. Maybe you picked out a hundred dollars in retired product. I want all of these things. So I say, okay, that's a hundred dollars. Go spend that. It's stamping up. You spend that, come back. And I say, great. Thank you. I'm going to mail you all your free products. So you're buying new product, getting retired product for free. It's my biggest sale of the year. It's a lot of work, um, but it's fun. And I love sending my goodies that I can't use anymore to new homes where they will find new uh, uses, hopefully. All right, so just a week after next, that's coming the 23rd through the 25th. Um, another thing, and I will share this PDF, the link to this PDF, because <laughs> I can't even read it right now. It's so tiny. Um, back to school tax holiday information. There are things that Stampin' Up! sells that qualify um, it, in some of your back to school tax holiday sales. Different states do tax-free weekends or tax-free day or tax-free week as we get closer to school and you save on school supplies, basically. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? So every year Stampin' Up! puts out this crazy spreadsheet and it has, you know, you can find your state, like my state is Texas. So August 9th through 11th, I can get free tax, no tax on all of these things. Basically it's adhesive, glue dots, bread paper. Ooh, did you guys hear that? Oh my gosh. I should be taking a nap right now when it's thundering. Oh, I love a nap when it's thundering. All right, um, grid paper, paper snips, stamp and write markers, uh, blender pens, um, basically things you can write with and adhesive and grid paper. All of those things are tax-free depending on your state, depending on the date, and don't, don't at me, ah, my state doesn't participate. I know, I didn't make the rules. I'm sorry, if I was president, I would make it every state, okay? <laughs> but um, if your state has this, you know, and I will share this PDF in the link when I'm done so that you can look and see if you can participate. I always stock up in adhesive. I try to buy like all the adhesive I need for the year in August. And I usually don't make it to the end of the year because I use so much adhesive, but if you, use a lot of Stampin' Up! adhesive, it's a good time to order. Okay, so that's that, that's that, that's that, that's all that, that's all that. Okay, I'm talking for a long time. Um, I'm gonna leave this out so I can remember to give you guys the link. Last but not least, um, oh, here are the online exclusives. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, the All-Star Tutorial Video Class PDF subscription is open for this only during July and January. And right now you can subscribe. It's a PDF designed by 12 different demonstrators. We use one suite and we all design a different project. And then we combine the PDF, look how cute. Um, and everybody films a video. And so the PDF includes measurements, supply list, video links, and photographs. You get this for free if you spend $50 with me in July. Um, you can purchase it for $15 in my PDF store or you can subscribe. Um, if you like my PDFs and you want just the PDF, you're not gonna shop with me and get it for free, you can subscribe and it's a six month subscription, $15 every month and the sixth month is free. Or you can pay up front $75 and that is basically paying for five months and getting that six month for free. All right, so there's that. Um, I will add a link to this at the top of today's video as well. All right, is Trisha here? Trisha, is my post up? Has Have you guys checked? Is my blog post up? Lois says, a nap with scorpions. Lois, I wasn't gonna share this, but we found another scorpion in our bed this week. Another one, okay? And we were making the bed. My husband was on one side, I was on the other, and he picked up the pillow, and he put it down, and he was like, ah! 
which it makes me laugh because, you know, he's Mr. Tough Guy. It scared him too. So there it was on our bed. Now, we were not sleeping in the bed at the time we were making the bed. And that, again, my suspicion is that the scorpion from last time was on the pillow sham when we put on the bed. And that's how it ended up there. So the bug guy happened to be here treating the yard. And I said, hey, bud, listen, I've had two scorpions in my bed. What is up? And he said, so he pulls out his little thing and he looks, he says, oh yeah, the last time I was here, I didn't treat with a strong enough chemical to kill scorpions. I was like, as my kids would say, bruh. Uh, I live out here in the boondocks, back up to a natural or a state park, and you're telling me you used a weak bug killing potion? Come on. So anyways, hopefully that was the last time we find a scorpion on our bed because otherwise I'm gonna have to just burn it down and just get out of here. It's awful, awful, awful. Um, yes, Nancy says, if we do your BOGO sale and spend $50, we get $50 free from you plus the PDF and Stampin' Up! gives us a $5 product credit. Bingo, Nancy. Big time, right? Rewards. You're gonna get three rewards. So BOGO sales week after next. You'll get free, all the re re uh, retired product for free. You'll get the PDF for free. And you'll get a $5 bonus days coupon from Stamping Up for every $50 that you spend to spend in August. I know, it's good, isn't it? So good. Okay, let's get started. Let me tell you, Facebook Friday, thank you for checking. You guys are telling me, Trisha, there you are. It's up. Um, the post is up, pinkbuckaroo.com. You can go over there. And there is a PDF that looks like this. It has all the um, supply list measurements, and then the things that I just talked about. Now, the host code for this week, if you want these make and takes, I always call them make and takes, but you're not really making them and taking them. I am prepping them and sending them. Maybe that's what I should call them. If you want these prep and send, no, that doesn't make sense either. If you want this as a project kit, I will send that to you for free. If you put in an online order between now and Monday at midnight, Minimum order is $35 before tax and ship, and please use this host code. If you don't use the host code, then I think you don't want the projects. Um, if you forget the host code and you do want the projects, just email me. As I forgot, I can call Stamp It Up and they'll fix that. Okay, so that is that. This is what they look like. You will need the bundle. Um, they come, I, I send you, you know, ribbon. Here's last week's iconic celebration, no iconic imagery. Um, I send you what you need, except for the stamped images. No stamped images. People always try to turn me in, saying that I'm sending stamped images, and I'm not. You have to do your own stamping. I never do your stamping for you. That's the fun part. If you don't have that iconic imagery bundle, or this week it's um, Frosted Forest, you can order it. That can be what you order to get the projects for free, or you can use something that you already have. Um, I know some people just take what I send them and just use it for other things, which is totally fine too. I just want to reward you with your, reward your order as a thank you and send you free project kit. All right. So last week, Kathy, I saw that you're here. Kathy's the winner of last week's prize. Kathy, thank you for sharing my video. She's getting a paper share. This is one of my paper shares from earlier in the summer. And next week I've got the golden greenery uh, bundle which is what I just showed you at the beginning. Um, we are using the dies for Club Create because they also cut out that Seasons of Green and Gold designer series paper. All online exclusives, all right? Um, you know what, I better show you guys too. Kathy, I'll get this in the mail to you. Um, let me show you guys one more time where online exclusives are because I hear even some demonstrators saying they can't find the new stuff. Now we have new stuff from Close to My Heart because you know we have taken on Close to My Heart's um, makers. So we have some of their product, but you can only order it if you were a Close to My Heart customer before they went out of business, okay? So right now, if you click on what's new, all that's gonna come up. And I feel like, I mean, I can't order it. So I'm like, ah, get out of the way. But let me show you, instead of what's new, you can click on, on online exclusives. So you click those three little lines right there. You guys see that? And then you scroll, oh no, wait. Yep, shop products. I thought I was on, if you're logged in as a demonstrator, you have to scroll pretty far. So let's look at that again, shop products. 
And then online exclusives. And everything will be there that is exclusively online. All right. Now I saw also, if you click on those three lines, they have this little shortcuts here. There's also one right there called online exclusives. And there they all are. Okay. So you guys, I asked you yesterday, do we want to do Halloween next week? And about 95% of you said yes. So I guess that's what we'll be doing next week is Halloween, which seems very strange to me, but I love it. That toil and it's not called toil and trouble. What's it called? Potions and whatever. It's cute. We're doing Halloween next week. So get out your pumpkins, ladies. <laughs> You're welcome, Kathy. Okay. Shall we stamp? I feel like I have, I talked a lot today. Okay. So I told you that this bundle is awesome. Okay. Not only do you have three trees and some beautiful fonts and a whole bunch of dyes, but you have the mask. Now mine are filthy because I have been playing with them and playing with them and playing with them. So please forgive that. The first thing we're going to do is a pretty simple card. I want to show you, basically I want to focus on the masking and show you how to use that. But inside, look, do you see this? This is that vellum, that new online exclusive vellum I was talking about that those dyes from Golden Greenery cut out, okay? But let's do the masking first. Oh, I have to show you something else. Let me get it. I found this on Amazon and it's linked on my blog today. It's a sticky mat. And you know how usually I get grid paper and I tape my stuff down? The sticky mat, you don't have to do that. So if you want this, I think it was like 10 bucks or something. You can um, find a link on my post today. It's really good for masking. Okay, now let me tell you what I did the first time I played with these. I got them out and, and like a bull in a china shop, that's how, I, that's how I function. I just plow through, I don't read, I don't pay attention to details. I made a bunch of trees and then I went to cut them out and I, the dies didn't fit. And I was like, what the heck? And then I realized I had done all of it with the masks upside down. <laughs> they were still beautiful trees. I just couldn't cut them out with the dice. So learn from my mistakes. There is a notch right here, okay? And that notch needs to be on the bottom left-hand side. There's also letters right here, A, B, and C for you to, that way you'll know which side is up. I even wrote on mine so that I can remember, you know, okay, this one's for the lightest color, this one's for the darkest color, and that's for the snow. So just a couple of tips with your masks. Hi, Judy, that's okay. Um, market Goodness, yes, um, who, who asked about that? Um, market Goodness is coming. I am halfway done designing that class, and I'm hoping that that will be August's class to go. I was going to do it this month, but with my BOGO sale, it's just too much for me to handle honestly <laughs> so I am pushing that to August so yes it is coming I apologize for making you wait but thank you for asking market goodness that sweet is so cute all right we're going to start with um just a piece of basic white and I am going to use old olive and mossy meadow have any of you used this yet um I'm interested to know what you think about it um, I'm going to show you something and maybe you guys can, um, teach me something because I do have a little bit of a question and Cindy, I saw that you just popped on. Maybe Cindy can answer this question for us. Number one, we're going to do in a light color. Okay. Old olive. Another problem of mine is that I don't go and watch any videos. I just do it and go with it. <laughs> I never stop to educate myself. So sometimes I just do things the hard way or the way maybe it's not intended to, but whatever, that's that's how I that's how I roll. All right. First mask, old olive. We have two blending brushes, large and small, and it doesn't matter which one you use, it's just whichever you prefer. I have a large and a small that were both green. I grabbed them, and that's the only reason I have two different sizes. All right, so you're just gonna put your old olive on here. Judy, did I see you have it? Uh, Patricia, you haven't used yours yet. Um Okay, good. I've seen a couple of people post some samples online, but I, again, I didn't take the time to go watch anybody's video or see anything. Ah, I just slipped that, didn't I? Okay, that's okay. Hold on, hold on. This, this mat really does hold it in place. I'm just being very talkative today. All right, so do your light color. Now take your second mask 
And when you put this one on here, remember the notches here. And I even, when I did this the first, well, it wasn't the first time, maybe the second or third time, I even drew with my pen like where the notch was. And I will show you that third mask, I still had a, had a little bit of trouble getting it lined up. Um, okay, so now this one you'll see, you're just basically covering up what you did before, okay? It, it's really easy, except that I, this mask over here slipped, so now it's not perfect. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm getting it. I'm going with the big one. The small one can just deal with not being perfect. All right, now, Mossy Meadow is my darker color, and I'm gonna go pretty heavy right here on this one. Okay. And then what that does is it gives your tree some dimension, which is really, really cool. Uh, you may not be able to see it from where you are. Now the third mask is the snow. And this is the one that I can't get lined up perfectly. The, the third mat on the other one also, but I think the point is that it's just snow and so it's not going to be perfect on your mask. So my, what I do is I just wiggle it around till it looks pretty good. Now, if there is something that I'm missing there that I should be doing in a better way, you guys can tell me. But I mean, it looks fine when I'm done. It's not lined, you know, there's, when, with one and two, when you put two down, the second mask, it like locks in. You see exactly when it, where it's supposed to be. With this one, it's a little more vague. All right, so now this time I have switched over to a dauber and I am daubing, if you will, white craft ink. Now, how do you clean your masks? They're super easy. The least messy way I have found is to go to your kitchen sink and just run them with water until they are clean, okay? Wow, Christy, you're working on the calendar kit and you've made 14 calendars. That is a ton of calendars. I can't even imagine. That is a lot of work. All right, so there, now we have snow covered trees. Aren't they pretty? Now we need to put one also on our card front and I want it kind of in this space right here kind of left cor left bottom corner but not too terribly dark okay all right so I'm going to put this down again we'll do old olive and then I try to go kind of you know not too heavy-handed on my olive because then the mossy meadow doesn't show up quite as in as significantly right so this is mossy meadow mossy meadow and old olive are great color buddies they go really well together all right let me move all this out of the way get my white again um now i like i said i did a bunch of trees and i found that i needed to clean my mask about every third or fourth time the white crafting starts to kind of seep in underneath. It's a little different. It's juicy and it stays wet a lot longer. So I, I found that if I didn't clean my mask every third or fourth time, that then that fourth or fifth tree had like big blobs of snow, which is not what we wanted. Okay, so now let me close this. Now, like I mentioned, Craft ink, oh, so pretty. Craft ink is not, well, actually, craft ink will dry with your heat tool and it will dry if you let it sit for a long time. So you're gonna need to either set it in your window for a few hours, I think a few hours, or hit it with your heat tool, which is super fast. But for the sake of the video, I did these ahead of time. Hopefully I can find them, yep, here we go. And there we go. All right, so that's what they look like when they dry. I'm gonna grab my cut and emboss machine. You guys, it is thundering and thundering and thundering. It's like heaven. I know y'all probably think I'm crazy, but we don't get weather like this. But maybe like, <laughs> it feels like three times a year, that's it. So I love it. Makes me very happy. 
everything is still green here in San Antonio, which usually by July, do I have any of my San Antonio friends on here? Usually by mid-July, everything is brown and crispy. Everything is burnt and yucky. We're, San Antonio is very ugly <laughs> in late summer. Um, so this year we've had good rain, which means everything is still green and not burnt to a crisp yet. It, you know, my mom said last night when it was so nice outside, she said, you know, this is our reward for suffering through last summer because last summer was, you know, the hottest summer on record. And down here was no different. It was our little reward. All right, so we have our trees. Um, oh, Angela, what'd she say? Oh, it disappeared, Angela. I can't find your comment. Did you, did I tap it? I don't know. Anyway, yes, it's wonderful, isn't it? And Lytle's so, just so nice. I know if it rains too much, you're like, ugh, but it never rains too much here. All right, so we've got our, our one that's flat. Oh, it just rained in Lytle. There we go, Angela. Yes, it's raining a lot here. Um, our electricity actually went out for a while this morning. And you know, the woo, that's like, what's happening? All right, now I put that one with dimensionals and I'm gonna put this one with dimensionals too. Like, you know what, before I do that, let's stamp the sentiment. I really do like the sentiments. Let me find my pecan pie ink over here. I really, really like the sentiments in this set. The, the uh, font is beautiful. So I'm just gonna do like a thank you right there in pecan pie. Okay, and then I'm gonna put this overlapping that. Then I'm gonna take my pool party, light stamp and blend, and I'm just gonna kind of go under it to give it a shadow. It'll help that just kind of pop off the, the card a little bit. All right, so you can use you could use Smoky Slate, you could use, I think a blue is better for like a snow. Um, pool Party, uh, Balmy Blue, Light. All right, so there's that. Then we have these new, also online exclusive, which is got a dimensional stuck to the back. Um, they are called, ready? Clear and Pecan Pie Ribboned Adhesive Back Dots. That's a lot. Just know that they have, you can't really see it, they have this little like, doo -doo -doo, like design <laughs> on the inside of them. Do you like how I described that? Doo -doo -doo. That's, that's how the design is, and they're cute. All right, so we're gonna put just, just three. We wanna keep it pretty simple like that. Okay, now for the inside, here's that beautiful vellum, okay? And what's the vellum called? I typed it in the supply list last night and I can't even remember. It is called Graceful Greenery Vellum. Okay, and we're gonna put this on. Man, I cannot believe how much it is thundering. Crazy, craziness. All right, we're gonna put that there and then we're gonna put um, just a piece of white on a piece of early espresso. And you guys know how I like to make the inside of my cards have a small area so I don't have to write a bunch. <laughs> so there, now we've made it even smaller. All right, thank you. And it's not a Christmas card. I mean, it most definitely could be a Christmas card, but I used thank you, so it's not. And one thing I was gonna say is that every time you make these trees, it'll be they'll be different. They will look different. They're never quite the same. Um, which I like. It's like a surprise. Every time you lift that mask, it's like a surprise. All right, so easy, easy peasy, but beautiful, right? Well, I mean, I guess that's kind of, what's the word? That's kind of giving myself a pat on the back, but I think they're pretty. I think they're pretty. All right, I mean, usually a tree set doesn't get me this excited, and this tree set definitely got me excited. All right, next one. You know, none of today's are Christmas cards. So we're not doing Christmas in July today. These are, they, they could be Christmas cards. You guys, what kind of tree would you say this is? When I was making my individual recordings of each of these projects, I was calling it a pine tree, but then it's not a pine tree. 
A pine tree would have needles, right? All we have here are oak trees. And so maybe it's, it's not an oak tree. What is it? I don't know. I need to learn the names of these plants before I do Facebook Live because I never know what to call them. <laughs> okay, this one is a fun, a very simple fun fold. And we're using some of that to market designer series paper that you guys, we just talked about. Um, and it just opens like that. And this one has a little birds in it. And I couldn't find the bird stamp yesterday to stamp. Um, this one I did very vanilla. And this one I did basic white. Um, I think that this paper is very vanilla. So probably vanilla would be better if you're picky about that. I'm not real picky, so, you know, eh, whatever. Okay, we're going to use a different mask. It does look like the kind of tree from Animal Kingdom. You're right. Cypress, Karen? Oh, yeah, possibly. Possibly. Oh, Cypress is fuller, Mary says. I don't know anything about Cypress. I don't know. Okay, where are my other masks? Now, oh, let me show you. You can stamp the tree and then do the masking, which is what we're going to do. That's this sample right here. Or you can just mask the tree without stamping, which is this card right here. So up to you, whichever you want to do. I wanted to use the stamps. Um, so, and I think that the stamps help you kind of line things up a little bit better too. So memento black, and we're going to do that tree right there. Okay. And then we're going to get our masks and we're going to start with the trunk. Now these, there's two tree, two sets of tree masks, three and three. This one has the notch at the top, right? And, and see, you can just line that up easily with your, you know, your stamped image. All right, this time we're going to use garden green and we're just going to use garden green. And I'm going to take, oh, I'm going to take this one. Actually, what am I doing? We're not going to have a green trunk. Let's do pecan pie first. Pecan pie. <laughs> that would have been funny. All right, pecan pie. Or crumb cake, early espresso, whatever color you want your trunk to be. Okay. There we go. And then we'll get the number two right here. And I'm going to lay that on. See how easily it is to line that up when you have a stamped image. And right here, it's covering up everything we just did. That helps your eye figure it out too. All right, I'm going to go with garden green. Garden green is such a pretty, kind of just like a Kelly green. And the reason I chose garden green this time is because the designer series paper we're using is garden green. Look at that. If you don't like the color, bam, you don't have the color. Beautiful. And then this one, again, I have a hard time kind of figuring out, getting it lined where I want it. Oh, I'm just going to put it right about there. This tree is bothering me now. Okay, well, is there anybody from Stamping Up watching that can tell us? They usually can tell you exactly what the trees are. All right, now for these shadows, I tried Mossy Meadow and it looked weird. So I'm just going to go with garden green again. You know, you can use the same color and, and it'll look good because it's, it's a darker layer. A, a what? A ba a ba I don't even know how to say that, Judy. A boab tree? A baobab? <laughs> ba I don't know. I've never heard of that kind of tree. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. All right, see, you just added some some shadows um yeah where do they grow Judy that sounds like something that doesn't grow around here <laughs> I don't think that tree is in Texas I'll tell you that uh <laughs> all right I'm going to take the sentiment and stamp that right here the sentiment says birthday wishes for a day as great as you are um what are the trees in East Texas friends from Texas what are the tall trees from those are just pine trees right pine trees in East Texas. You guys, Ellie, my oldest, you know, my artist slash rock climber, mountain biker, outdoorsy girl, she, her professor, her main 
painting professor invited her, they applied actually for a grant, so she's actually getting paid too, down to Big Bend National Park to do these giant canvas paintings in the desert. And I'll have to share some pictures with you guys. It's so cool what they're doing. So she's literally living her best life, painting and Big Ben. Big Ben is her favorite place on earth. So cool to see what they're doing. Um, pine, oaks, maples, and fir trees. Joan, is that East Texas that you're talking about or just where you are? Tree in Africa. Okay, I kind of thought that was a tree in Africa. It, whoever said it looked like the tree at Disney World, you were on the right track. You were on the right track. Okay, I cut the sentiment out with just one of our perennial postage uh, rectangles. And now we're gonna put it together. This is just a half of a sheet of uh, pecan pie cardstock. West Texas has mesquite trees that look like shrubs. <laughs> I was gonna say, Brenda, does West Texas have trees? They, and then you said they look like shrubs. And I was like, oh yes, those are the kind of trees we have in West Texas. <laughs> um, so just a half sheet of cardstock, one and a half and four and a fourth, okay? I cut two pieces of the to market designer series paper. You guys, designer series paper is just a fancy word for pattern paper. I, I thought about that recently and maybe if you are new to stamping up or not even, you may be like, what is this DSP? It stands for designer series paper. All right, we're gonna put one on the front and one on the back. And then okay, this piece is from the Seasons of Green and Gold online exclusive paper again, back to the Christmas cards, that's that paper. Um, and it's got gold foil on it, so it's really pretty. And then on the end side, oh, Lisa, you walked, you hiked um, to Waterfall. Ooh, hiking is fun. I like to hike. I am scared to death of heights, so some hikes I don't like, but some hikes. I can handle some heights, but I don't know. Can't be too high. Can't be too high. Okay, here's where we're going to stamp this little beautiful bird that's just kind of flying around. And then we've got a radiating stitches die pecan pie. We're going to take that tree again, and we're just going to kind of stamp some trees that would be kind of in the background like that. Okay, and then we'll get dimensionals. You guys, there's a movie coming out. I think it's this weekend. It's the Twister sequel. You guys remember Twister, the tornado movie? You know I love it because it's about weather. Well, I think the sequel's coming out this weekend. I can't wait. Have you guys seen any good movies lately? Ted and I have started... Again, this is something I'm probably embarrassed to admit. We have started watching all the X-Men movies because we're going to go watch the new um, Deadpool Wolverine movie. You know, I have to, like, get on board with dude stuff sometimes. But I actually have really been enjoying them. They're actually pretty good. Um, okay, I'm going to put this right here. There, And I... <laughs> silly me. Um forgot that all that is Marvel, which you can get for free, all those movies free on the Disney Plus app, if you have a Disney Plus app, and I forgot about that, and paid to rent the first two on Prime before I was like, um, wait a minute, are these on Disney Plus? Don't you hate when you do that? You pay for something that you really didn't need to pay for? I mean, it was only like $3, but still, very irritating. Let me point this out. The sample has some green twine on it, and I realized that that is not available yet. Um, we had something called Creativity Now last month for Demonstrator, yeah, in June, for Demonstrators, and we got to pre-order some products that will be available in the next catalog, and I forgot that that's where that's from, so I'm changing it to Linen Thread, but just know this is coming, and it is beautiful. It's Linen Thread, colored Linen Thread, which I love. So anyway, that's coming in, I believe, the fall catalog, the September to December mini catalog. Um, so I'm just using regular linen thread, kind of tie a big 
bow there. Yes, I love the Marvel movies. During the pandemic, I decided to watch all the Marvel movies from beginning to end because I really hadn't, I mean, I'd seen them here and there, but they really are so good. They all connect. They all like go together, which you don't really realize if you just watch them here and there. And so the X-Men movies are pretty much the same thing. So I, I and I, you know, X-Men wasn't Marvel and then it was Marvel. So I don't know. I'm late to the Marvel or to the X-Men game. I always thought X-Men, ugh, that doesn't sound good. But I, I actually really like them. All right, so put that there. Hugh Jackman, he's fun. I like, and it's funny to think of Hugh Jackman on, what was the movie, the circus movie that he was so good in a few years ago where he sang and danced. And you know, he's like a Broadway guy. And then to see him as Wolverine, it's funny to me. Look, I almost threw that die away. Do you guys do that? You leave your die stuck in your paper. Ah, oh, I'm sure that's how all of my lost dies get lost. Okay, there we go. Easy, just a little kind of a fun fold card. Mixing two packs of designer series paper together and making this boba tree. <laughs> I don't think that's how you say it, but ba -ba -ba. I don't know. I can't say it, Judy. I need the phonetic spelling, please. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Um, and this sentiment is a birthday card. You could change it. You could put a Christmas tree here, make a Christmas, whatever you want. Just change the sentiment. Okay, last but not least, let me clean up a little bit and I've got a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup project for you because it's always a good time for a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup project. Oh, and I have to show you guys something else. Let me grab it. I went, I was at Walmart to get these Reese's Peanut Butter Cups and I happened to see a Snickers High Protein Bar. Have you guys seen these? And let me tell you, I had high hopes for this sucker. Protein, well, okay, then it's healthy, right? It tastes terrible, you guys. It tastes like, you know, have you ever had a protein bar that um, has a fake, like, sugar alcohols in it, and it's just kind of that sickly sweet? That's what that tastes like. I was very disappointed. But you guys try it and let me know, because we have not agreed on candy in the past. Hello, lemon Kit Kats. All right, so you guys try them. I found it at Walmart, and let me know what you think. But we're just gonna stick with regular Reese's Peanut Butter Cups today. This is my husband's very favorite. He's not a huge can't, the greatest showman, Carla, thank you. That's the movie that I was thinking of. Hugh Jackman dancing, singing, and then you see him, tough guy in the Wolverine, super funny. Anyhow, Reese's. Regular, just your regular run of the mill size Reese's peanut butter cup, and we're gonna make a fall tree, okay? Um, my original is Mossy Meadow, but for some reason I cut the con pie um, cardstock for this one. So we're just gonna we're gonna do a con pie. Alright, but let's do our fall tree first, and then we'll put it together, okay? So I have two sets of these masks. I accidentally <laughs> ordered the masks by themselves and the bundle because you know again spending money on things I didn't need to spend money on but anyway I'm making good use of them because now we don't have to worry about the other ones that I used because these are clean okay let me get my stamp and we're gonna stamp this again memento black uh oh I didn't clean it that's okay All right, there we go. And we're gonna do the, okay, why are you sliding around? Stick to the paper. Um, we're gonna do, again, we're not gonna have a green trunk. We are gonna have, do I, why do I keep taking the ink pads away? Oh no, it's right here. Um, we'll do a pecan pie. Okay, and then we're gonna do um, we're gonna do daffodil delight first, and then we're gonna add some pumpkin pie. Okay, I'm gonna go heavy with my daffodil delight. 
there was a tree when my mom lived in Memphis near her school that was this color in the fall. She would be able to tell you exactly what tree it is. I can't remember, but gosh, it was gorgeous. We don't have anything like that here. All right, now, pumpkin pie is gonna overpower this daffodil delight. So I'm gonna go kind of light. We may come back after we add the shadows in and add a little bit more. And you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. Okay, oh, so pretty. Now take this one and I'm gonna stick with pumpkin pie again. And I'm gonna put, maybe this in Africa, this tree doesn't turn fall colors, but whatever. Here is gonna turn fall colors. Now see how like harsh that is? If you do that, what you can do is go back because see how it's like like blobs up there. You can go back and get your other colors. You can get your daffodil delight, add some of that in, and some of your pumpkin pie, and just add that in. It'll kind of smooth everything together and make it beautiful. All right, so there we've got that. Let me close these ink pads so I don't have some disaster. We're gonna stamp this sentiment in everybody's favorite color, Cajun Craze. I say that jokingly because a lot of people hate it. But you have to have Cajun Craze for fall colored cards, okay? And then we are ready to cut these out. Grab my cut and boss machine. We're gonna cut this out with, again, this die and um, the sentiment fits in the second smallest. Oh no, maybe it's the smallest. Let me look. Is it the smallest or the second smallest? I think it's the, oh well, let me look, hold on. Oh yeah, it's the smallest. The smallest nested essential rectangle. And I'm just gonna take this in it down like that. Hopefully it doesn't slide around. Hi, Susan. Aspens are gorgeous. Man, you know what we said um, when we were in California a couple of weeks ago in the Aspens? You can see them and they do like this shimmering. And we said that they were giving us jazz hands. <laughs> and so my girls were calling them the jazz hand trees. We have seen Aspens in the fall, my husband and I, when we went to... Um, uh, Rocky Mountain National Park. They are stunning. That's not what that tree was. Um, Carol, I think she's asking how long can the ink stay on your mask before washing? I don't know. I think it would wash, you know, this ink is water-based, so I think, I don't know. I don't know. I know that if I came in tomorrow, that ink would still be wet on my mask. So I don't know how long it would take to finally like dry. Cause it on a on plastic like that, it doesn't dry. That's a good question. Um, this is also from the nested essential, nested essential um, dies. And this time we're gonna take linen thread and double it to make a big fat bow. Use use the two threads like they are one. Snip, snip. We'll do our glue dot thing. I, where's my sample? I can't even remember what I'm doing. Okay, yes. There we go. Put that right there. So pretty. Put this little dimensional right on top of that. And put that right there. Okay, so now we've done the stamping first, let's make the box. You're gonna need, um, and I, I, like the, I like the Mossy Meadow color better for whatever reason I cut pecan pie. So pecan pie or Mossy Meadow. Let me look at my notes. Where's my PDF? Hopefully I typed them correctly, let's see. Um, six and three fourths by six and a fourth. So on the long side, we're gonna do half an inch one and an eighth, and six and an eighth. And the eighth is just that very first tick mark past the inch. Turn it to the short side and do two and a fourth, two and seven eighths, five and an eighth, and five and three fourths. 
Okay, so now grab your bone folder, burnish those lines. Get them nice and crisp. Ooh, and I like birch trees too, Carol. Are those, I don't know. They look very similar to aspen trees, don't they? Birch and aspen, aren't they kind of similar? We don't have either of those here. Down here in the boondocks of Texas, we don't have those. Okay, so here is the long side, right? The long side is right here. On the long side, we're gonna actually cut off that square right there and there, and then come over here and cut those two squares off, okay? And um, I cut in kind of at an angle, so those that tab would have an angled, uh, angled sides. Now, over here, I have to think about what I'm doing. On the opposite side, we're gonna take our scissors and cut off these two rectangles. Thanks, Nancy, that's sweet of you. Okay, now we're gonna cut this rectangle off. And when you do, go all the way in so that you have that little flap there. I do that right there too. And then a little snip and a little snip right there. And then all we have to do down here is snip these lines. You know, something down here feels wrong. This feels like it's too long. Well, we're gonna test it and see, aren't we? No, it's right. I don't know, for whatever reason, that side looks like it's longer. Um, okay, so there is what your box looks like. If you're watching the replay, you can always just pause it and make your piece, cut it up so it looks like that. You know, I'm just gonna use stamp and seal, but I would, if I'm gonna give this away, I probably would recommend you using um, tear and tape or liquid glue. Now I glued that tab completely behind the other side and this is the top up here, but we're gonna do that last. So we're gonna come down here and fold in the sides, fold in the back, then put adhesive on that front tab and fold that in. All right, and then we get our recess, put that in and fold down into the box. I mean, very easy. This paper is the same paper we used last week called Iconic Celebrations. Online exclusive, you'll only find it online. It's not in the catalog. And then we're just gonna put our little decoration on the front and we are done. You know, I'm gonna go upstairs when I'm done and give this to my husband. There we go. What do you think? Easy. We turned a tree from Africa <laughs> into a fall tree. Why not? Why not, people, why not? Okay, now I have some bonus projects for you. Let me show you. This one is real simple. That, there's that tree that I cannot pronounce. Um, Cheryl, go look under on my blog today under the first picture. I have it linked there. I don't know what exactly it's called, sticky mat or something, but I have the link there on under the first photo of today's blog post. Um, this is that Seasons of Green and Gold Designer Series paper. I mean, you know if there's a plaid, I'm gonna use it. And look, I actually mixed two plaids. I think they're okay. Um, I think this is not white, it's not vanilla. I don't know what that color is. Maybe it's our new basic beige color. But they go fine together, I'm not stressed about it. And then the birds on the inside. Then this one, I use the dyes to put, just kind of tone on tone, um, pecan pie on the back there. And there's more of that vellum. I'll post these on my blog next week. And then Chris knew she had, she knew I was gonna use this and she sent me this beautiful card um, using, I don't know, Chris, it looks like you colored it. It's really pretty. Um, and it goes really good with our Country Woods designer series paper. All right, there we go. All right, 
Let's take a look. If you guys want these products as a make and take or a free project kit, I will send it to you next week. Just all you have to do is put in an order between now and Monday at midnight using that host code and minimum $35 and that is it. And I will send them to you for free next Wednesday. I cut them on Tuesday, ship them on Wednesday. Okay, you guys, join me next week for Halloween in July. <laughs> we will be doing Halloween next week. Um, potions and spells. I think that's what that, that stamp set is called. Um, it's hard to find Halloween candy this time of the year, I'll tell you that. <laughs> but I do have some, uh, I have a, a drawer full of old candy that I keep around just for projects. So I'll dig around in there. I'm sure I'll find something. Okay, you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you next Friday. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye guys.